Welcome to Flix Studio Recaps, where we recap trending movies. Today, we'll be recapping the movie Extraction 2, which has broken Netflix records. The story begins with Tyler Rake narrowly surviving a fall and sustaining serious injuries. He is eventually rescued and taken to a hospital in Dubai, where his partner Nick stays by his side until he regains consciousness. Nick believes that Tyler's survival must have a purpose and encourages him to uncover the reason behind it. In a Georgian prison, a notorious crime boss named Zurab Radiani learns that his younger brother, David, has had his prison sentence extended by 10 years. Determined to help his brother, Zurab goes to prison and confronts the government official responsible for the decision. He brutally kills the official with a pitchfork to the throat, and his men, known as the Nagatsi, eliminate the guards and successfully free David. Nick and her brother, Yaz, take Tyler to a cabin in Austria, where he plans to spend his retirement. While Tyler engages in personal activities, he also grapples with the pain of losing his son and the end of his marriage. David reunites with his wife, Ketevin, and their children, Sandro and Nina. Despite Ketevin's objections, David intends to involve their son, Sandro, in the Nagatsi organization, but Sandro deeply admires his father. Tyler is approached by a mysterious man named Alcott, who persuades him to consider a job offer. Alcott reveals the history of the Nagatsi, explaining that Zurab and David escaped the Georgian Civil War with their family but suffered abuse from their father, which fostered Zurab's protective nature toward his brother. Tyler is assigned the task of rescuing Ketevin and her children from the prison where they are being held alongside David. He recruits Nick and Yaz for assistance and begins preparing himself physically for the mission. The trio infiltrates the prison and sneaks into Ketevin's cell. Although Tyler successfully retrieves her and the children without alerting David, loyal prisoners become suspicious, forcing Tyler to expedite their escape. He manages to fend off some of the prisoners but eventually encounters David, leading to a brief fight that culminates in Tyler fatally stabbing David in the neck. As they make their way outside the prison, Tyler must confront additional inmates and guards caught up in a violent riot. He guides the family to Nick and Yaz's van, but Zurab quickly discovers his brother's death and dispatches his men to pursue them. A prolonged car chase ensues, resulting in Nina's injury. Eventually, everyone boards a train with Zurab's men in pursuit, even employing a helicopter. Tyler fights off more adversaries and shields the family as the train derails and crashes. Zurab identifies his brother's lifeless body and rallies his men for revenge. Meanwhile, our heroes and the family recover from their ordeal, but Sandro becomes enraged upon learning that Tyler was responsible for his father's death. They board a plane, where Nick discovers that Katavin is Tyler's former sister-in-law. In a poignant moment, they reflect on Tyler's past marriage to Katavin's sister. However, unbeknownst to them, Sandro secretly contacts Zurab to disclose their whereabouts. The team takes the family to their secure hideout in Vienna. There, Tyler shares his personal history with Nick and later has a conversation with Sandro, who confronts him about killing David. Suddenly, Zurab's helicopter approaches the safe house. Ketevin realizes that Sandro led them there, forcing everyone to flee and find hiding spots. As the villains start shooting, Tyler safely escorts Nina and Ketevin out, while Yas pursues Sandro, but Sandro ends up going with Zurub. Tyler, Nick, and Yas fight and eliminate more of Zurub's men, but Zurub shoots Yas before they can escape. After boarding an escape helicopter, Yas succumbs to his injuries, leaving Nick devastated. Tyler brings everyone back to his cabin, where his ex-wife Mia arrives to support her sister and niece. In a private conversation, Mia questions Tyler about his absence during their son's final moments, and he admits feeling helpless and unable to witness his son's death. Zurab contacts Tyler, who reveals his location so they can confront each other. 
Despite Nick's objections, Tyler goes alone so that she can stay with the family. Tyler destroys Syrup's vans and plane, preventing his escape. After eliminating all of Zerub's henchmen, Tyler confronts him in a church, only to discover that Zerub has rigged a bomb to Sandro's body, set to detonate if Zerub is killed. Nick arrives to assist and gets shot in the process, but she helps Sandro remove and disarm the bomb. Tyler engages in a bloody and brutal fight with Zerub. Despite sustaining numerous wounds, Zerub declares his relentless pursuit of Tyler, leading Tyler to shoot Zerub in the head. Nick passes out from her injuries, and both she and Tyler are eventually found by the authorities. Tyler and Nick are hospitalized under police custody. Mia visits Tyler in prison and informs him that Ketevin and the children are in protective custody but have lost their assets due to the American government's seizure. Tyler instructs Mia to find one million in cash at his cabin to provide for them. Later, Alcott bails Tyler out of prison for a new job, but insists that he won't do it without Nick. To their surprise, Alcott reveals that he has also bailed Nick out and offers them an opportunity to work for the organization he represents. Remember to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for part three of the Extraction film series, currently in production. Please share your favorite character and your thoughts on the outcome of Extraction 3.